Hi everyone, Wanchi here. Today, I'll be doing a tutorial on a project that I have done in the past, probably one year ago. And I have done a little bit of modification. So I thought that probably I'll just do a very quick tutorial on this macro and hope that you guys find this useful. All right, now we have the worksheet over here where we can see that this is a problem. And another one is the data that we are dealing with. So before we go into the macro, let us go through the data a little bit. And okay, so you can see that we have the name, the email ID, and the data item and the breakdown of the charges. So you can see that we have three recipients over here and we will be sending out each of these according to the recipients that we will be uh, sending out to. So if it's Anthony, then we will only send this highlighted part only. So let's go into the macro and see how this works in actual scenario. So let's click on this. And while we, this is clicking it, you will see that some of the changes appear on your screen and you can see that because we have three recipients, this macro will actually draft out three different emails. And the first one is Anthony, where the full recipient is automatic, automatically filled out and also the customized subject. And of course, the table that we want to attach to Anthony to tell him that, hey, this is the final amount that you will be receiving for this week's payment. And of course, some, some basic email body to them to let them know that this is the summary payment summary. So now, move on to the next one is Lee. So the content is similar, but the amount is different because it's based on how much they have worked throughout the week. And the last one will be Winnie. So again, everything is the same except for the table. So all of this the table is actually extracted from the Excel that we have covered just now. So now let's go into the macro and see how this actually works. Okay, so right now let's just rip up the macro video visual basic data by pressing the alternate 11. I'm sorry, alternate F11. And let's just split this screen into two, yeah? All right. So you can see that this is the macro and what I'll be doing is to go through very briefly on the macro by clicking, by stepping in. So we can just press F8 and just, so we activate the sheet one, which is the data set and also duplicate. We want to duplicate the sheet because we do not want to modify anything on the original data set. So just duplicate and this is where the do function actually comes in. Comes in. Then this is the we selecting the first first uh data set data or the first set of data. So this is just like um, putting in some variable, assigning the variable to the A2, the name and also the recipients, the email email ID. So now let's just go to the next is this then this one is to stop any screen updating and okay now this is the part where we are communicating with outlook and this is the we how this is how we will be sending out the email via and okay, so this is the user email user email we have already assigned to the to this v2 then CC, BC, then this is the, this is where the Excel, the ta Excel table comes into the format. And this will actually jump to the function. Where this function, actually, I got it from online. Another great source from, I think it's from Stack Overflow. So if you are interested, you can always go to the Stack Overflow and it goes out. Okay. Now I just go into this then because this will actually create a new workbook and also paste everything there and they will just teach this entire thing so html so that it can actually include in the email body okay so they will publish this as a html file and then attach to the email body. so okay then it will actually show the outlook that outlook body that we have seen just now so you can see that this is the first one, and I'll just continue with the 
group and just see if this we will be relooping it because of the particular we have the condition where loop while d2 is empty so we can just check what is d2 d2 is this so it means that if it's not empty meaning that we still have data so that's why it will keep on relooping on this part so i'm just stepping in again then we will just reassigning all the variables again with the new data which is the leaf then do it all over again with this then it will run through everything again because they will want to copy the the new data into the new email body just click into it run through it display it, then you can see that this is Leo. so we are just making everything screen everything through then the, close the our look if it's not uh, using anymore then delete what we are doing back then back just now was that we deleted the data of the Liam. Now it's left with whatever that's left. Then you can see again we are looping the loop while the hook. Then just go through again. So this is where we are looping through the function. Okay, so your display. So let me just minimize minimize this. Okay. So if I continue this, you will see that why is the input of sorry, why is the input of this when we are running through the micro. So just pay close attention to it because now we are selecting again A two and E seven. So we are selecting this particular area. Then we will delete it, and then then you can see that we will break this loop out because the D two is no longer has any value. So the condition is that loop while d2 is not empty. But if it's empty, then we will just end the macro and delete this worksheet. And then message box done because we have already run through everything is inside this data set. So now let's go to this and see that this is exactly the same result that we had just now where we have a separate email body and with the specific data set that we are sending separately to each of the recipient. All right, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoy this and please consider subscribing to my channel for, for, for more videos like this. And of course, I will post this code and also the Excel file into the link in the description below. Do see my next video. Bye.